co-education or uh, unnecessary mingling between the opposite genders is not permissible in Islam. And whenever we have to be in a situation like that, we found out that the Prophet ﷺ, for instance, appointed one entry and exit uh, in, in the masjid for the ladies. And he prohibited men from using this entrance. He said this is only for a nisa, for ladies. And until he died, وسلم, no man would enter nor exit from this door. And the Prophet وسلم, would lead the prayer and he would hang around for some time before he would turn around. Ladies will be dismissed from their entrance or from their exit and they will not be in touch or in contact with men. That's in the most sacred place in the place of worship, in the masjid. In parties, in schools, in education or uh, at work, unnecessary mingling between men and women is not permissible. Especially it leads to fitna, definitely. Then it, the, the, the danger increases when you are in a non-Muslim society where you have to work with uh, men who may not pay the proper respect to women. Or if a man works with women who do not obviously wear the proper hijab, so the person is exposed to a great deal of fitna. If I have to be in that place, then I have to be in that place. But if I have the choice, if I have a different alternative, or another offer, then I'm not permissible to be in a situation like that. If I have to teach in a school like that, that's my only source of income, and I have to work, then I wear my proper hijab, and I do my best, and I try to utilize my presence in this place in order to enjoy what's right, and forbid what's evil. And it settles in the bottom of my heart and mind that, that this is only because of the conditions that I'm in. If I have the choice, I wouldn't be in a situation like that. I wouldn't choose to work in, 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 in a place where there is uh, a free mixing and mingling between men and women. Of course, perhaps non-Muslims may be listening to that and they say, what is this? Uh, nowadays, and even started almost a decade ago in, in, in North America, the trend of having separate education because it provides the students with better environment as far as studying and uh, benefiting from the classes than having a free mixing, which results in a chaos due to the excessive freedom, the unlimited freedom, where it's uh, uh, pretty much uh, a mess. You see uh, kids who are conceiving, young girls, who are conceiving, and kids bearing kids, carrying their own babies with them into schools. As a result of this free mingling and no haram and no halal. I have seen in middle schools and high schools, some schools do have babysitting facility for the students to bring their own babies with them. Why don't you see anything like that in, in, in uh, a committed Muslim community? Because there is haram and halal. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, prescribes a law, it is definitely for the benefit of the entire community, Muslims and non-Muslims. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator. And he knows best what suits us most. And he knows our weak points. And he knows what harms us and what benefits us. So by clinging and adhering to the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is very obvious in every sharia, the sharia of Moses, the sharia of Jesus, the sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then the community will be saved. But when people neglect that, and they set aside religion, and they behave according to their woman desire, the society will be very vulnerable to corruption, will be very vulnerable to destruction. If not today, down the road, it will happen as a result of not complying with the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we see in the very advanced societies and communities, everywhere, commercials for DNA, who is the father. People are trying to find out whether this child, which, my, which his wife conceived, whether it's his or not. 
And the mother is trying to know who is the father because of the free and unlimited mixing and mingling. And she's been with different men. This is something that it's no secret. Uh, when you read, if you did not, if you have not been to uh, these Western communities, um, you read about it and you realize the danger and the damage that is taking place in these communities. We don't want this to be transferred to Muslim communities. Rather, we try to give them da'wah and present Islamic solutions even to non-Muslim communities. Wallahu ta'ala a'la wa a'lam.